here locally, some damage, nothing to the extent of obviously what we just saw in Perryton. But if you have been affected by the storms, especially property damage, you might be wondering what's the best way to get everything back in order? Our Aaron Jones tonight asking the experts for you. It's been a whirlwind few weeks, one storm after another. Uh, just the frequency of it is, is, uh, seems a little bit different from uh, you know, past years. People are very frustrated. Look at the size of those things. And Alan Hashir Malik is dealing with substantial property damage left behind by golf ball size hail. Uh, the roof got damaged pretty bad. And if you can see the windows in the back, and it was really bad. I boarded up everything over here from inside. And we had hundreds and hundreds of people who had the same thing happen. Jenny Widener, a local state farm insurance agent, says they've mobilized and are ready to go 24 7. They've even had adjusters come in from out of town to help with the workload. And it's really um, tough for insurance companies, too, because we're trying to get everybody taken care of and do as good of a job as we can, but there's so much damage. State Farm reports hail claims have been increasing from 2021 to 2022, what the company paid out to customers increased by more than $1 billion. Texans claims accounting for more than half of that. Widener says because of the longer wait times expected, it's important to file your claim right away. Make sure to document any damage with photos, inventories, and receipts. I feel like a lot of people are getting their roofs done and everything from the hill, dealing with the insurance and everything. So hopefully get it done, get it sorted out. And now with a slight risk of severe weather here tomorrow, residents are just hoping it stays away. They say they really can't take any more. Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.